Hey, how's it going everybody? Todd Rendon, Flippin' Hustler here, just touching base with you. I wanted to make a quick video. Yeah, me doing a quick video, right. Well, I'm going to shoot this video quick and make it short so it uploads quickly. This is going to be, uh, what is this going to be? This is going to be one of those videos where I showed you what I sold in the last couple weeks. And that way you can put a price with the object and then you can put it in your list and go from there. So, that said, I'm just going to flip my phone around and I'm going to go right to my computer screen. I haven't figured out how to do the sharing thing, so we're going to go like this. Dun, 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 dun. So, this is not in any kind of order. Um, this is as far as my computer will let me go back before I started blowing up. This sold for $21. I believe I took a best offer of $18 plus shipping. Uh, when it showed up, it was broken. The sword right here. This part here is broken, so he sent it back. I'll refund his money. No big deal. Next, let's see if I can. Okay, next we have this old clock. It went for $29.77 uh, plus shipping. So that was pretty cool. Next we have. A TI BA, it's a Texas Instruments BA 2 plus business analyst calculator. Great condition. It went for $1505 plus shipping. $375. Gone. Uh, let's see, what is this? This is going to be a Super NES cartridge for WordTress, is what it's called. It went for $3.03, 303, Colorado. And uh, shipping was three dollars and fifty cents. Super NES. Next, we have a Columbia crossbody travel bag, multiple storage pockets, fourteen bucks plus shipping, four dollars and forty-five cents for shipping, and it is gone. Next, we have. Oh, this is a vintage uh, collectible semi. It's a calendar. And it was a girls and calendar and whatever. $7.50 uh, plus three seventy-five shipping. Gone. Dun, dun, dun. I should have a cha-ching sound, huh? Cha-ching. This is a Gatco knife sharpening set. It went for $17 plus $7.28 shipped. It's pretty heavy, but very nice. Next is, this is like a rapid fire, huh? This is good. A pair of New York and Company ladies capri pants. They were black with flowers on the bottom. Went for $8.88 plus shipping. Gone. Cha-ching. Next was a Harbor Bay uh, men's belt, 60 inches in length. Went for $14 plus $4.45 shipping. Gone. Touching. Next was that Littlest Pet Shop lot that I had a reserve set at 30 bucks. I thought, but apparently not because it went for 15 bucks plus shipping, and that was a close one on that one. Well, good thing that saved me is I only paid a buck for the whole thing. Otherwise, I could have been in trouble because it I ended up paying like five bucks extra for shipping. This is a vintage record player made by DJ. It's pretty neat. $17 plus shipping. It was heavy. You saw me pack that a couple days ago. Went for uh, $17. And they paid shipping. So that was that. Do, 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 do. This is going to be... What is it? Oh, look at that. It's my head. It's a cowboy hat. Uh, it was 49 bucks. I took a best offer of 39 bucks plus shipping. Uh, eight fifty for shipping. And it is gone, which is pretty cool. Next is a vintage split deck set of playing cards unopened. Those went for thirteen seventy seven with free shipping. Shipping was like three and some change, so ten bucks. I paid a buck for them. Next is what? Let's see. Well, look out! Oh. It's the uh, Genuine Kodak ink cartridges I picked up for a buck. Those went for $15.99 plus shipping. And they are gone. That's pretty cool. 
I did not sell anything last night. As hard as, as hard as that is for me to believe. Uh, okay, and fifteen dollars for the vintage thermos, uh, coffee pot dilly, carafe, uh, plus shipping, seven twenty-five shipping. That is gone. So that's that. Um. So that was the sales in the last probably couple.